In this example, we've been asked to solve the differential equation y dash plus 2y equals e to the negative x. Now, first of all, look at the differential equation. Realize that the highest derivative is y dash. Remember, that's dy dx. So it's a first-order differential equation. I remember the, the two methods I've been taught for solving differential equations, either separation or variables, or using the integrating factor. In this case, I see I've got three terms here. The dy dx rearranged by itself. The 2y would come over here, and I've got two separate terms. So they're not factors. I can't get the y's and the x's as factors by themselves. There's three terms here. So this equation is not separable. So I can't use the separation of variables. So this equation is first order linear, and I'm going to use the integrating factor to solve this differential equation. So I first remember the general formula, the general form for first order linear DE, and it's this form here that dy dx plus some function of x times a single y is equal to some other function of x. So there's the standard form. I can see what the function q of x is equal to. And although I've just got a 2 times y here, the function of xp is still just that function 2. So from that, I know I need the integrating factor. So I'll go through and calculate that. The formula for the integrating factor, which we denote by rho of x. The formula for the integrating factor is e to the power of integral of p of x dx. So from my standard form, as we said, the p of x function is just 2. I put that in there to the integral at the top, and it's the integral of 2 with respect to x, which is just 2x. I've done an integral here, but I do not include the arbitrary constant. I know I'm going to do another integral later on, and so all the arbitrary constants can be added later on. So the integrating factor for this differential equation is e to the 2x. Note that we can only find the integrating factor once the differential equation is in the correct standard form. The next stage in the process is to multiply the differential equation by the integrating factor. So uh, making sure that the differential equation, of course, was still in the standard form. So multiply e to the 2x by the left-hand side will give me e to the 2x times dy dx plus 2 times e to the 2x times y is equal to, on the right-hand side, I'm multiplying e to the 2x by e to the negative x. So the index laws tells me to keep the base, add the indices, 2x minus x is equal to plus x. So on the right-hand side, I end up with just e to the x. At this stage, I can check my work and make sure I've calculated the correct integrating factor. Because if I've calculated that correctly and multiplied through by the differential equation correctly, then on the left-hand side, we have what's called an exact derivative. What we mean by the exact derivative is that this should be the result of the product rule. And the product rule is come from the derivative with respect to x of y times the integrating factor. So this should be the product rule after differentiating e to the 2x multiplied by y. And that still equals the right-hand side, e to the x. At this stage, I should always check that I've got the correct product rule and I've got the, the exact derivative. So differentiating these two functions, remembering that y is a function of x, it's the derivative of the, uh, derivative of the second function, there it is there, dy dx times the first, which is e to the 2x. And the second function times the derivative of the first, the derivative of e to the 2x is 2, e to the 2x. So it looks like I've got the correct exact derivative, and so I should have calculated the integrating factor correctly. At this stage, now that we've got the exact derivative, we can cancel these out just by integrating both sides. Think of multiplying up by the differential. On the left-hand side, the integral of the exact derivative is just e to the 2x times y. 
and the integral of e to the x with respect to x is e to the x, and we add in a constant of integration. So the integrating factor has made that integral very easy. The last stage is to rearrange to get my general solution y by itself. So again, I need to divide both sides by e to the 2x. I'll be left with y is equal to e to the x plus c divided by e to the 2x. That is the general solution to the differential equation. And without any conditions, that's as far as I can go. The general solution to the first order differential equation using the integrating factor.